you are live. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. How? Uh, all right. Let me just. Oh, I can see we are live. Live on TikTok also. Guys, welcome. Welcome we to the live. live. Yeah, the live is about to begin. Normally, we're supposed to begin at uh, 9 30. We've gone. Uh, Mm, Rebecca, can you look the screen? <coughs> Turn on. Small technical problem. Here is Rebecca. This is Jenchang. This is not a Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, all right. So problem fixed. Does everyone hear this well? Dawson, can you speak a bit? Yeah. Can any and your mic is not plugged correctly? This. Okay. Can anyone hear me? Can, can you guys hear me? Can anybody hear us? Is it good? Cool. Hi everyone, do not hesitate to tell us before the live begin that oh it sounds good. Both sound good, me and Dawson also. Cool. All right. So welcome to you guys. Mr. Dubois, uh, lazy glitch. On Twitter we have uh, if you want to have a look, maybe. Cool. The Zolon. The Zolon. I need, need to fix the anicubic I was given by a friend. Do not hesitate to contact us by or either or contact or Customer service, I think they can they can do something for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi everyone. So we just leave a couple more minutes and uh, before we really uh, start the live, um, we gonna have several parts in this live. Um, just a small introduction. You can ask questions whenever you want. Uh, we we're gonna have a big, uh, a larger Q and A session at the end. But if you if you wanna ask question, if you wanna Say something. You just you anytime. You just ask, and uh, we're gonna take the time to, to answer. Sounds good. Audio, just, video. Just feel good. free to ask the questions if you want to have any. Yeah. Cool. Hi everyone. Or more and more, more and more mm -hmm. people joining. Yeah. That's cool. So tell us in the in the comments where you guys all come from. That's uh. We're gonna, we're gonna make a little statistics around, around this if you if you allow it. Do all people come from the US or or there's some European that sleep late at the time? Yeah. <laughs> from Germany, from yeah, last time we got we got yeah. one German guy. It was it was four four a.m. four a.m. in the early morning. In the early morning, <laughs> he was still following us. Uh, I don't know if he if he's gonna be there tonight uh, to date. I, I recall that the, the girl names quite, quite, are quite. Julia, right? Uh, Julia, yeah, 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 yeah Julia. Julia, exactly. Canada, USA, New York City, New Canada, York City. Shanghai. Oh, uh, oh Greece, we got one citizen. from Greece. <laughs> from Greece here. And Whoa. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Los Angeles. <laughs> Oklahoma, uh, our, our guy Travis here uh, yeah. used to study in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 2.30 a.m. here in England, man. Thanks for us. Thanks for booking this time together. Well, thanks for booking this time to follow us. Uh, we I hope that I hope the live gonna be interesting enough. At least that's that's what we try to uh, that's what we try to do. And we, we we got a guy say that he, that he has been uh, catching the live stream for an hour for that day. Thanks, thanks for it. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah. Texas. Texas. Uh, Costa Rica. Mexico. 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 Yeah, cool. Building size. We're gonna discuss about the printer a bit later, but yeah. uh, bigger, bigger than the Cobra for sure. Yeah. What about Prague, Oklahoma? All right. Texas, Ohio. I'm French printer. Yeah, I'm French yeah, too. French. <laughs> know it. Yeah, Matt, Matthew you... is from France. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why you guys uh, sometimes maybe you you wanna hear my English is not perfect. Uh, please, please uh, don't mention it. Please uh, bear with it. Uh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> All right. I think we can we can begin we can begin the live. Yeah. Uh, now it's, it's about time. It's about time. 
Oh, well, guys, so thanks a lot, uh, all the people coming here. Coming here. Uh, US people a lot. There's uh, some, some Europeans still that uh, don't mind sleeping late. We're really honored uh, that you guys follow us even that late. Um, so we tried to actually make, it was, a, it was a couple of times we didn't make any live streams. Uh, we really wanted to prepare um, prepare well for this as well for the as we bring some stuff here, we're printing some uh, some visual also, and we try to make it more the more interesting as we can. We're gonna have some um, we're gonna have some games at the at the later on the show, and um, yeah, so thanks a lot for being here. Um, uh, so yeah, same same team as ever. Like uh, I'm Matthew. Yeah. He is Dawson. For, Dawson. For all, all who doesn't know him uh, already, Dawson is uh, actually we both we both pretty new in the in the live stream uh, yeah, sure. in the live stream function, and uh, but we're taking a lot of fun uh, to do it to do it. So Dawson, how are you today? Um, I'm, I'm kind of good. But I still feel kind of like uh, a little bit nervous, although I've been be down good. for like, yeah, two sessions before, but still feel kind of like uh, quite exciting and quite nervous today. But as you guys can see that we actually wear this, the, 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 the quite good shirt yeah. designed by our um, uh, department that is like the Cobra. Yeah. That, that is the model that we are going to uh, introduce today. And this shirt is kind of like really fantastic when I wear it. And so feel like quite ner uh, honored. Oh, no, yeah, so totally, totally. yeah, that is, uh, I feel kind of like good today, but uh, recently I've been quite busy, but like, yeah, like hope, hope <laughs> that I uh, can get some new inspirations from today's live stream. Yeah. Yeah. So do not hesitate, like, because we, we, uh, we are not real professional live, yeah. live streamers. So if you got some, <laughs> some advice, some, some comments, just don't, don't hesitate to tell us and we're yeah. going to feel free to take, point out. take yeah. this into, into consideration for sure. Uh, all right. So we prepared a long time for this, uh, and the reason why we are we are launching a live today is, as you may already have known, if you're watching Joe Telling's video, and if you're following our Facebook, our YouTube, our Instagram, and our, our any cubic social media in general, we have a brand new printer here, this baby over here. Yeah. And this this is the main reason why we are uh, doing this live stream today. We're going to talk a lot about this one. Um, try to point out where what, um, why you should use buy it, why you should, uh, and what, um, sorry, what problem can it help, can it, can it help you to solve? Actually. Yeah, sure. So actually this one is a very good printer and uh, we're going to have a whole hour to talk about this one. Yeah, sure. So uh, Dawson going to help me introduce the plan. Yeah, Please. actually, today's so like, plans that we uh, we actually separate into two big parts. The mm. first part that uh, we were talking about the printers, and in the printer in the, in the printer session that we will introduce uh, some kind of uh, specifications that uh, what kind of uh, pros that this Cobra Plus have. And the, the, there's one point, one thing that I would like to point out first is the uh, separate board and drive instead of direct drive. Uh, what kind? Uh, what are the difference between uh, these two drives, and how can that uh, better fulfill our users' demand for our family members? And the second part I would like to uh, in the uh, printer uh, session is that we will we will compare uh, with extra two models uh, in our um, in our Anycubic FDM uh, models, which is the first one is the Mega X. Uh, what kind of difference between the Cobra Plus with the the, the best-selling FDM printer, the, the Mega X. And the second point is that I, we saw many uh, comments from our social media, from our, our family members, and from all many potential users, is that uh, the co what is the difference between, uh, what are the differences between the Cobra Plus and the Cobra? Yeah. So that is actually the, the first part that we will introduce the, uh, for, the, for the printer session. Exactly. And actually, the, the, the second part is uh, we would like to uh, introduce is that uh, we, you, you, as you can see that in here, we have several uh, PLA uh, materials, mm -hmm. this kind of uh, uh, filaments. And so recently we have uh, increased and, and, and lanced many, um, lots of new PLA materials for you guys to, to select. And we will introduce the, uh, what kind of um, benefit, how can that benefit for your products when you, when you tend to have recreation 
via your uh, printers. So that is actually the the the, the chance that we 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 we, uh, we 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 have this time to introduce it. And so uh, and the last part is that as you guys can see that uh, from all via all of our live streams that the giving away session and also we will uh, point out there's one more um, live stream in June 15th that uh, which is we will uh, have, we will just sold the early bird price for the uh, Cobra Plus. So just stay tuned for that and then we can start it. Yeah. Yep. So I, I saw I saw one people asking uh, in the comments like do we you do you have a slicer software uh, any cubic? Actually, for the um, for the FDM printers, we are still running on Cura and we are still developing uh, our own slicer. It's not it's not released yet, uh, but it's in, it's in the it's in the process. For for all the resin printing, uh, we already have the the Photon Workshop. Yeah. This being said, I saw I saw another one. I saw another comment on. Uh, TikTok, I guess. Yeah. Like, did we print this amazing sword uh, using this printer? Exactly. Yeah. We use uh, the Cobra Plus, and we use the lower lowest filament here, and uh, the result is uh, is pretty good actually. Yeah. Uh, didn't take a lot of time for uh, for us to get a perfect uh, print. We failed a couple of times, just once, I guess. Some something with the settings or something, but uh, till the second time, everything got perfect. We had to split. Of course, several parts of the of the blade, uh, but yeah, actually that is that is that is printed with a Cobra Plus. Yeah. So that being said, I think we can begin. Yeah, sure. Uh, what should we What should we need to say? Uh, uh, all right. So actually, the Cobra Plus is the right fit uh, between the Cobra and the Cobra Max. You yeah, guys yeah. already know about. And uh, actually, the Cobra Max is is a very very uh, good printer. The Cobra Plus is also. Um, just, just a bit smaller, but yeah. But the whole, the whole, the whole design and the whole specification inside are pretty much similar. Um, first, I have to introduce. Um, I doesn't doesn't thought about the different drives. Some are direct drives, so the Cobra is using yeah, a yeah. direct drive uh, extrusion, and the Cobra Max and the Cobra Plus are using a separate drive, so separately bounded. Uh, as you can see here, so this is the extruder. This is the this is the hot end. So you see they are not clinched into one uh, into one block. Actually, that's it. And the Cobra. And actually, one other tip. Usually, when you when you see a roll or spool of filament that is above the printer, so around here, usually you can tell that it's a direct drive. And one is uh, like this printer here today. Yeah. On this side, usually it's a. Uh, it's a separated, uh, separated drive. Actually, separated more than drives. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, what is the difference between the two? Um, the main difference, uh, of course, they are separated. This you already know. Um, so the separated button means like the extruder is uh, outside the, um, is is uh, on another another side of the hot end, which means like actually the um, the central part, so the printing part, the printing head here. Gonna, la gonna have less inertia when, when moving, so you're gonna move like much freely, and so you can you can help like speed uh, the printing process. Although each movement is not like a lot of uh, a lot a lot faster, like it's, it's only a small it's only a small increase in in, in the speed uh, if we talk about speed. But as it's doing a lot of movement every every time, like on a ten hours, you're gonna have like thousand thousands thousands of thousands of movement so at the end it really makes a difference uh also the second part is that by having the extruder outside of the of the hot uh, of the hot end um you can have a, a better maintenance uh the maintenance yeah. is going to be easier actually so if somehow you got some filament that can jam that get jams into the the extruder you can directly dismantle the, the extruder and solve the problem yeah, instead yeah. of having to uh, dismount all the the whole head. Yeah, sure. which is pretty good. Yeah, actually. So cool. separated button usually tends to be faster and easier maintenance than uh, than, than direct drive. Right, yeah. But direct drive also have very good point is that by having everything in in one block, so the extruder inside the hot end, actually makes like the the filament um, flow. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, I suddenly forget the word. The <laughs> filament flow like. The filament uh, flow, yeah. Much smoother and gonna have a tend to be a much more precise extrusion. 
So on the one hand, you have fast, easy maintenance. On the other hand, you should have a, a more precise printing. So when people are, are asking like, where, which one of the, of the drive system should I use? It's, all, it's, not a, it's always a, a very hard, and, hard answer to give. Uh, both have very, very good uh, points actually. Uh, yeah. Sure. So, so yeah. So this is um, so I introduced a bit a bit long. I think I made it a bit long. The introduction of the the di the di different drives. Uh, it's kind of quite still, uh, quite crystal clear. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. If it's yeah. still not clear, you don't hesitate to to ask us. Uh, now I'm gonna give a word to uh, Dawson. Dawson gonna talk deeper about the, the specification of the printer. Yeah, uh, Dawson, please. Yes, today we were talking about some specifications that I would like to first point out is that. Um, the LibreQ uh, technology, and the second, we were uh, Matthew introduced the printing dimensions, and third, we are talking about the speed, how fast it can be. Uh, where, where many of our users tend to uh, see like uh, how fast that they can achieve to print a creation. And the fourth one is the addition, and the fifth one is the Feldman run out sensor, and the mode, and the, the, the last one is the module assembly. So let me let me start with the LibreQ technology. As we, we know that the Cobra series, our, the Cobra family uh, series, uh, are, are all are all uh, all apply for our latest uh, uh, LibreQ auto labeling technology. Mm -hmm. uh, the Liber, the LibreQ uh, auto labeling technology is divided into two kinds, which is the first one is that the one implemented uh, on the Cobra and consists on a twenty five points uh, laser sensor. sensor mm -hmm that obviously uses a um, laser to detect the platform on 25 point on, on the hardware. And the second one is that um, it's a um, 25 point uh, touch center, which means that the touch sensor will go all the way uh, down to the hardware on 25 points uh, to make sure the labeling is perfect, which means make sure that it's run, run perfect. Also, we will see further details we are comparing the uh, the printers, and we will have a further uh, uh, descriptions when we using when we compare with the uh, Mega X and the Cobra later. Yeah. Yeah. I saw I saw some people asking about the dimension here. That's uh, that's just uh, the part that that I was about to introduce anyway. Uh, so the printing printing dimension are always something uh, users customers are really interesting really interested in. So actually, this printer has a pretty large uh, dimension. It is 30 to 30 on the on the X and Y uh, axis, and 35 centimeter on the Z axis. So actually, that really fits the slogan we are we are giving for this. That means uh, it really fits all size requirements. So by 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 saying so, we don't we are not just playing. We just uh, you. It really means like you can print. Small, small prints, bigger prints, even monster prints yeah. with this printer. Uh, why, why would I say this? Uh, smaller prints, of course, is kind of obvious. Uh, it really fits inside. Uh, it is also one of the one of uh, the dimension is really pretty reasonable for this for this range of printer. And when I say monster size is prints, you also can fit inside. It's not actually the truth. Is usually monster prints, you have to split it into different. Um, different section, like for example, you, you seldom will print a very very large print in one block. All, all most of the cases you're gonna you're gonna print the base and the middle and the top. So you're gonna split it into into different parts, and so all these parts can fit in inside. Yeah. So actually, yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, that's why we call it like perfect for all size requirements. It be, be, it means like usually for 95 90 percent of the cases. You're gonna find it very interesting, except if you really have to print like monster prints every time, like uh, for four weeks something. That might be a bit a bit of a limit, but except of these kind of cases, this printed dimension will fit all, all your requirements. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what so about the speed? now? the speed. Oh, uh, yeah. The Cobra, as we know, that the Cobra Plus printing speed uh, has increased to 100 millimeters per second, mm -hmm. uh, fitting, which we have a perfect fitting uh, slogan, we coming up with is the is that no need to wait when unnecessary. Uh, so this kind of speed makes the printer, uh, the Cobra Plus, 
uh, become one of the most uh, one of the fastest FDM printers uh, in the market. So as a typical uh, speed is involved, the Corolla Plus is 28% faster than competitive products uh, via our AnyCubic lab testing. So uh, the Corolla Plus uh, and the uh, Inset uh, made some tests using several printers, uh, the Cobra Plus, the Mega X on AnyCubic side, and some of the our competitive printers also. We will expose the uh, result uh, it later yeah. to show you how fast that can be uh, when we're using the numbers to uh, describe it, when we're using the data to show it. Yeah. So, uh, as, and, and here I would like to point out, as I mentioned before, it's like many of our users or family members uh, have an urge to uh, chasing the, the speed to for when they're using the FDM printers or when they're using the 3D printers to 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 as fast as they the, the printers can to achieve to to create a creation or a model yeah so that is kind of a really uh fantastic benefit for our users yeah so what about the addition yeah just just before i before i continue i just saw on tiktok there's a novice artisan asking yeah. what's what makes the cobra plus better than your other printers uh, this is a hard question to uh, to ask. It doesn't just give a this give kind of an answer. It's like the speed has been increased already to like it was eighty millimeter per second on the Cobra, and now it's raised to hundred millimeter per second. So yeah. we're gonna have fast printing. Um, the dimension also have been increased, and uh, if you want to see more detail, we're gonna make a whole comparison between, um, so between the Cobra Plus and the Mega X. The, the last the last generation of printers we're going to have those kind of comparison like point by point a bit later we're going to compare it to the mega x and we're going yeah. to compare it to the cobra also yeah so just hang on there i give you a, i give you just a light answer and uh, please wait until we are we're going to tackle those kind of comparison yeah so yeah. i think uh the the, the answer will, will be coming out uh once we have finished the, the live stream because we will have a crystal uh, clear description or suggestions when our uh, users have this kind of confusion when they are trying to pick which one should I buy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another question, like uh, I, I tackle two questions and then I'm going to continue my my our plan. Uh, flash alter ego, right? Yeah. Uh, how do we enter the giveaway? The giveaway session is going to be at the end of the of the live, not at the very end because we're going we're still going to have a Q and A session, but uh, close by the end of the of the live, so at that time we're gonna explain everything to you guys. So until then, hang in there and uh, keep keep staying with us. Keep uh, asking us questions. Yep. And uh, yeah, do not hesitate to tell us if everything good uh, still on the live. Like we can we on TikTok uh, is the is the internet good? If, if everything is everything going well, sound. If you got some. If you got some problem or if you yeah if, if you encounter some problem just tell us yeah uh hi i i can see ben here i uh, think thanks thanks for watching me man <laughs> uh ben, ben it was uh, is, a, is a famous uh TikToker that that we, we usually make uh we have cooperation cooperation with he's one of the lucky guys that we we already sent the one cobra plus two yeah and um he might be he might be able to tell a few words or at least confirm uh famous you you are famous man you are famous man let me let me share yeah this he will he'll be able to confirm with me um that the, the cobra plus is a is a very interesting print yeah so now we're talking about the, the addition uh as if people are watch or or following the anycubic family for quite a while you already know that we are using this kind of material uh, on, on several other printers. So this is a Cobra Random Glass uh, hotbed, sorry. And uh, the Cobra Random Glass, why are we using this? Because it already have proven to be, already have proved to be a very good material as, uh, we, as we are talking about adhesion. Uh, the print sticks very well inside still uh, is also connected to the speed that you are you are using you really don't want to use a, a speed that is too high 
Um, otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna damage the you're gonna influence the addition stuff. But if you stay if you stay between the the characters that will give you like 100 millimeter per second, this turns out to be a very good uh, addition for for your prints. Yeah. Um, and when it cools down, the prints also remove like quite easily. Like you just have to you just have to snap them off. You don't need to use extra tool or something. Pretty pretty much come out by themselves. Uh, yeah. Just uh, just a few words about this, and can be can be reused um, quite yeah can be reused repeatedly without any loss of performance. Yeah, sure. Even if you can see some kind of uh, some kind of lines here, I don't know if you can see correctly, but usually it leaves a bit of marks. But that doesn't mean uh, that it's damaged or so. Is you can you can still continue to use it without sure. any worry. Dawson, what about another point that is very good on this printer? The Feldman run out sensor. Yeah. Yeah. And this small so, device here. The small device is here. Yeah. Uh, this we apply in the Cobra Plus, and also we have already applied that in the our Cobra Max. So um, it is actually uh, include that we the, the reason why we apply for this is actually that um uh, for the 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 Feldman run out sensor is basically um that we understand our customer demands on the safety for the printers, uh in a way, and if the sensor that the the the, the the, how the technology runs out when you're using it and how that can give you the feedback from your user experience is actually uh, if the sensor uh, detects that there is no filament and the printing uh, process will stop and you can res uh, resume it once you uh, added a new spool of filament. So it is actually a very practical uh, devices um, because not having such device will lead to your printers to run empty and you run and you, you, you kind of like just end up with a model that are uh, hard printed, which is uh, kind of like a uh, damage or make you uh, feel un unsatisfied when 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 the 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 um the PLA is, is running out and the fail the filament is, is running out. So it kind of like uh, just make sure that uh, using these devices to make can make sure that uh before it is um empty and when it is empty, it will, it will stop and you can just add a filament into it and to keep continue the printing uh, processes. So uh, actually you can uh, just have to, uh, otherwise you, you have to um, start it again and to recreate the, the creation and recreate the, the models that time. you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it is kind of wasting, wasting time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, before we tackle the last point, I see Novice Artisan is asking a, a good question also. Uh, how long does the hotbed material last and uh, is it replaceable? Uh, this question is actually kind of hard to answer. I, at least the first one. Yeah. Uh, it all depends on your um, on your frequency of printing. Uh, it can last. It can last for quite long. Is it replaceable? Yeah, it is. Actually, you just have to untie those kind of uh, plug here, metal plug. Take the take the glass out. Replace it by a new one. Uh, and Cubic, I think, gonna gonna sell those kind of those kind of spare parts. So. Yeah. No worries about this. It is replaceable if you need to. All right. So the, the oh, oh yeah. One also the last point. Yeah, the last point is the modular assembly. Yeah, that's what we call mo modular assembly, and uh, people will not be uh, will not be surprised that we use that we use those kind of uh, building ways. We are using for a long time, even from from the oldest uh, series of. of printer, the Mika series already was using this kind of assembly. Um, we always we always say like you're going to be ready to uh, like from the box to the first printing, you can you can you're going to be ready in about 15 minutes. It's not something to brag about. It's, it's, it's really true. Actually, the assembly works like this. You just have to fix the Z axis uh, into the base. No, yeah. you screw a couple of screws, uh, plug a couple of cables level like uh, level the printer using our amazing levitio technology Levy security technology, yeah. uh, the leveling takes around like five to seven minutes uh, the assembly like maybe 10 minutes at most yep and uh so yeah it's, it's really something like in 15 minutes you can be ready to get going sure yeah uh all right so, so yeah once we finish the um uh the description of the specifications what does that all mean? Uh, well, so we just give you, show you some data or show you some descriptions 
regarding uh, how fantastic and what kind of technology that we apply or what kind of devices that we apply in our Cobra Plus compared to uh, other models. But in here, uh, for better of a few, our family members, our, our 3D printers, users demand, we will also um, compare the Cobra uh, Plus with the three printers, which I mentioned in the beginning of our live stream is the, uh, the, Cobra, uh, the, the, the Cobra and the Mega X. And obviously, uh, we will also compare with our Cobra Max um, uh, with all this, uh, with, with the Cobra Plus. So uh, how, we, how about just uh, like we, uh, before we, we start the, 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 the differences between uh, the different compared to that, I would like to point out is like uh, the Cobra Plus is actually the third member of our uh, Cobra, Cobra family. family. So yeah. Uh, I'll How, just, can we, yeah. Sorry, just before I uh, saw so, so an interesting question. People are asking, like, because we are all every time talking about PLA, PLA. Uh, there is, sorry for, for, for your name, man. Uh, Dritan, can you print PEPG and ABS uh, filament? You can yeah. also, like, it is, uh, it is compatible with PLA, PEPG, uh, ABS, and TPU filament also, like, really. No problem at all when switching filaments. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about this. Yeah, we can just, I think we can just give our um, users, our audience, a comparison between the, the three models I mentioned before, the, the Cobra, the Mega X, and the Cobra Max. Yeah. All right. So we start. can just start it. Let's start. So you tackle the dimension part, right? Yeah, sure. All right. Please. Um, when we're talking about the dimensions, as Matthew uh, introduced before, it's like uh, the Mega X and the, um, yeah, I would like to introduce the Mega X with the Cobra uh, Plus uh, first. So uh, when we're talking about the dimensions, it's like the Mega X applies, uh, is actually pretty similar, which the Mega X uh, apply for the three, uh, 30 times 30 times 30.5 centimeters. And for the Cobra Plus, we apply in uh, 30 times 30 times 35 uh, centimeters. As you can see, the models beside us are in, uh, via the live streams. So the increase might not sound really astonishing when you uh, see the data that we, we, we just point out, but actually you are uh, via we increasing the uh, five centimeters, you can actually uh, print five centimeters higher than it than before. Yeah. And usually in 3D printing, uh, every bit of printing uh, dimension increase is really good to have. Because you, uh, as we mentioned before, these dimensions are really interesting uh, as you can print small models or print large models or high models that you can uh, without uh, having a whole room for one printer. So this Cobra Plus can help you print a larger and a higher um, models that you want. Just like in here that we have coming out uh, via our Cobra Plus that we use the, our Cobra Plus to print this one. Mm. It's really easy yeah, and cool. it is uh, can like can be smaller, can be uh, can be larger. Oh. Yeah. So nice. Matthew, what about the speed compare the Mega X and with the Cobra Plus? Yeah, actually, if you are if you are a Mega X uh, user, um, of course, it's not the, the dimension that is gonna make you choose for Cobra Plus. Of course, it's gonna be the, the other the other the other settings. Like the speed, for example, is like is a lot is a big improvement from, from yeah. the Mega X session. Like the for example, the Mega X was printing in uh, 60 millimeter per second on a regular basis. And this one just increased to 100 millimeter per second on average printing. So which means like you're gonna have a 40% increase uh, just by this one. And actually, this what, what makes this possible? There, there are four, uh, there are four <laughs> change in the, in the printer um, design that makes this uh, increase this possible. Uh, the first one is the is the metal uh, the power that is hitting the metal is that now it's a five watt metal heating uh, nozzle, and which means that the, the filament gonna 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 be melting easier yeah. and faster. So yeah, this sure. one, all those small changes brings a small uh, a huge boost, yeah. boost to the yeah. to the to the speed, but all combined together it really makes a difference. So the first one is a. Uh, is the, actually the, the melting uh, part. 
The second one is the is the oh, the dual fans. They are increased to six thousand round per minute. Now, um, now there are also a double threaded Z axis that also smooth up the. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, I think the mega X is coming. I guess. Or yeah. We're gonna, gonna, they're gonna, gonna bring it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can. I will be. We will be able to show you guys. So the double threaded Z axis that is about to smooth the whole printing process, and uh, also the all metal, all metal geared extrusion that makes everything uh, much, much, much smoother. Yeah. So as I said earlier, the small changes, every small change brings a small boost in terms of speed, but in the end, the difference is kind of is kind of uh, amazing, like forty percent increase in terms yeah. of speed. Yeah. And uh, the main parts, uh, Dawson gonna tackle it. It's about the leveling. Yeah, the leveling. Leveling. As we have mentioned in the in the beginning and previously about uh, the leveling, that we apply our LibQ uh, le leveling technology in our Cobra series, which is one of the most proud um, technology that we we are really on, we are really honored and quite excited to talking about that every time because um, the the LibQ helped us the leveling become never have never been so easy before. So uh, one, uh, and you may ask that, uh, what are the differences between uh, the leveling te technology uh, compared to the traditional one that we like to point out is that one major difference between these two printers uh, is that um, the leveling technology as we introduced before, it allows you to get um, the leveling te process as fast and as easy it can be. Uh, so just just the, the, uh, the, from the user uh, experience uh, uh, perspectives, you can just uh, pricing the server buttons and the deliver queue uh, technology where I handle the rest uh, five to seven minutes. And so uh, your printer will be uh, settled and will be uh, level after the five to seven uh, minutes. And uh, we are as, uh, the manual leveling uh, requires around 15 minutes at best. Uh, so the LiverQ technology will save you at least seven to eight minutes, as we mentioned. Yeah, yeah. totally. So because you have to check all the uh, points manually and manually adjust the knots under the hotbed, so it, it actually wastes you a lot of time and waste your energy to see, okay, how can we uh, settle our um, hotbed into level? So the level you the, the LiverQ auto leveling technology helps you to solve all these kind of time, solve these kind of uh, worries or confusions when you apply it. So that's why we point out the leveling has never become so easy before. To it, yeah, that is that is true. Uh, also, oh, you have, you have to put the cobra here. Yeah. Right here. All right. Okay. Put it here. We can. Well, we cannot see our faces anymore. Yeah. We have to stand up, I guess. <laughs> well, let me put this aside. So you, you guys all, all you, you guys still can see Dawson. That is the most important thing. <laughs> I, th I think I think I, after we finish uh, the comparison with the Mega X, we can just oh, take it out. Yeah, take, take it, it out. out yeah. Otherwise, it's a bit uh, too much. Yeah. Don't uh, worry about yeah. It. The last point. Uh, uh, the last point as well is not really. Uh, yeah, you can you can see here. The last point I have to tackle is the is the interface. Yep. Yeah. So you can see from the screen here compared to the. Oh, you cannot see the Cobra Plus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here, yeah. You can see that the, the, the interface has been changed also. And this was, uh, we made sure that uh, all the comments may, uh, I have to sit here so, I yeah. so you guys can see me, right? From the small screen. Yeah, right? yeah. The window. Yeah. Great idea to put the, to the printer here. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, we, we made sure it's that our, all the customer feedbacks on the interface, um, we make sure that all, all those feedbacks reaches the, reaches the product department and at least, and they, they come up with a new interface using all those feedbacks and which is bigger, which is faster and which, which is also more user friendly. So. So in this, this is a great example where we can say that all the feedbacks that you give us on some points of the printer, 
good part, bad parts. We are trying to make it happen in the, in the next generation printers. Yeah. Yeah. So this, we, this concludes the comparison with the Mega X. So yep. we will sure. be able to take it out of it. I'm going to make it. Yeah. So and, uh, in conclusion, the Mega S compared to the, uh, the, the Cobra Plus compared to the Mega S, which is, uh, more, uh, which is easier to use and um, apply more technology and faster than uh, the Mega X. That is actually the points that we like to point out when we compare the Mega X with the Cobra Plus. Yeah. So uh, next, we will compare the uh, Cobra Plus with the Cobra because we have um, uh, we just uh, we we have seen we uh, we just introduced um, the the best the, the previous uh, best selling FDM printers in our AnyCubic family members, and so uh, now we are, we will introduce the uh, we will point out the new series which is the Cobra uh, series and and. And I saw many comments, and me and Matthew and our uh, staff saw many comments from the, our social media uh, that many people asking are curious about, like, uh, which one should I pick? Uh, whether should I pick the Cobra or the Cobra Plus? And here, we will try to, try to give you some suggestions to uh, better describe uh, what, kind of, uh, what, what kind of specifications can apply for different demands and how can that fulfill uh, your uh, demands? Yeah. So maybe your requirements are uh, um, can uh, or your personal configurations to uh, lead you to choose one printer or the other. But uh, the first point I would like to point out is that um, these two models, or the or the the, the Cobra uh, and the Cobra Plus and the Mega X. And the uh, and the Cobra um, Max models are all very very fantastic models. If you choose one of these, just just choose one of these, then you won't be regret for that. So it's kind of like really really fantastic if you want to choose it, and if you uh, want to select a FDM for your using. So just choose one of it. it you won't be regret. It's a really really um, easy and and selections to do. Yeah. So uh, let's start. With the um, comparison with the uh, Cobra and the Cobra Plus. Sure. Yeah, Matthew. Yeah. Sure. That's my son. My that's my turn, right? Yeah. Sure. All right. So, <laughs> sorry, I got. Uh, I got. Sorry, I got, I got, I got lost delayed. In the, yeah. <laughs> I got lost in the, in the questions. Uh, okay. No, no question. Uh, is there a question I can? I can. Uh, I saw there's one question in here, like. Oh, um, what, what are the bed bed yeah, prints? Bed bed uh, the print bed, bed sizes. Size. So uh, the middle one was the was the Mega, Mega X. X yeah. It was thirty uh, to thirty to thirty point five yeah. in height. Uh, this one, the Cobra Plus, is thirty per thirty and thirty five in height. And uh, this one is twenty to uh, how much? Uh, twenty two to twenty two to twenty five. No, oh yeah, twenty five to twenty two to twenty two. Yeah, yeah, twenty five. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was done. And uh, so now I'm going to talk about the, the leveling technology. Um, they are both using the using the Levy Q. Levy Q, yeah. Let me put this back. Oh. All right, they are both using the Levy Q technology. So this uh, AnyCubic AnyCubic new auto leveling technology. Actually, this technology in divided is divided into two uh, technology. I also introduced before. Yeah. The Cobra is using the laser uh, the laser, laser sensor. sensor. Yeah. yeah. So the laser just detects 25 points of the of the print of the print bed and make sure you got evenly leveled uh the cobra max and the cobra plus they are using the touch sensor now so yep. it means that the sensor has to go all the way down to the platform in order to detect the platform uh 25 point 25 point on both uh, sides yeah so uh if people are asking like which one is better actually they all they are they are all like very precise uh, leveling function. As precision is involved, is the same. Like they, they can detect yeah. uh, the precision is the same. This one maybe have a slight uh, advantage on the fast um, process of the of the auto leveling, as it doesn't have to go all the way down to the platform. Sure. But we are not talk talking about uh, five minutes to five minutes. Actually, this one maybe is about six minutes uh, six minutes to make the auto leveling process from start to the end, this one may be seven. So you just lose one minute. So it's not, this one is slightly faster, but uh, the other, you don't want 
the most important feature is not the speed, the more important feature is the precision when we are talking about uh, leveling. So they're both just different, just different uh, technologies, same results. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so dimension we already begin to introduce. Uh, those yeah, Can so we... uh, actually Matthew just introduced the dimensions uh, of Cobra and Cobra Pluses Plus. So uh, I would like to point out is the, this part is kind of like the most ranking part because um, um, many of our uh, users just like point out like uh, when we're talking about dimensions, is that just only bigger than that one? Or like uh, what kind of sizes it is when we are talking about the building sizes? So um, the, 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 as, as uh, Matthew pointed out before, like the Cobra is setting in uh, uh, 25 times 22 times 22 centimeters and the Cobra uh, Plus is 35 times 30 times 30 centimeters. Uh, so that is actually, that is uh, when we're talking about the Cobra Plus, that's, that is not actually a, a typical entry level printers. So um, because when we, uh, the, for the entry level, uh, FDM printers, we would like to more apply for this one, which is the Cobra. Yeah. Uh, the Cobra Plus is, uh, is actually more designed for the users uh, who have been using the, uh, who have a uh, user experience before when they, they, they apply their, uh, they have some experience using the FDM printers. So uh, you can see the dimensions. That is also the part of the uh, reason that we, our slogan for the dimensions is, um, perfect for all size requirements, which is the perfect require, uh, perfect for all size requirements. Because usually you need uh, this kind of size in the vast majority of the cases. You can print, just like I mentioned before, uh, you can print a much larger, and like five centimeters uh, creations compared to the uh, Cobra or other competitive um, printers. So uh, bigger than it is also impossible uh, a big, bigger than uh, bigger than it, it is also possible, uh, but it requires sometimes a whole setup in your home. Uh, so just you have to you have you have you still have to using it when you trying to uh, set set it up. Yeah. Right. So what about the speed when we talking about the Cobra and the Cobra Plus? All right. Yeah. Uh, the, before talking about the speed, I would like I would like to re I would like to reply to DM three D. Yep. Uh, which is asking like, is Cobra Max or Pro bigger? Actually, there is no Cobra Pro. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I would like to point out is like um, the. Uh, if you if you're mentioning uh, if you're mentioning the Mega Pro, uh, of course the Cobra Max is far far bigger. Oh yeah, more Mega Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think it is it is more. The Mega Pro. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Oh, also, I would like to remember, guys, that uh, you can hold tight. We're going to have the giveaway soon enough. So don't leave now. Yeah. You already go through Stay most, tuned for that. Yeah. You're most part of the live now. So if, I think in 5 or 10 or 15 minutes at maximum, we're going we're gonna to have the giveaway session. Yeah, sure. So stay connected until the end. We still have a lot of information we didn't, we didn't disclose. Yeah. So it would have been too bad to leave before the end. Uh, all right. Uh, maybe we can try to speed it, speed it a yep. bit more. Uh, all right, as speed is as speed is involved, we already mentioned that the Cobra Plus reaches 100 millimeters uh, per second speed. Actually, it's already it was a pretty big uh, increase from the Mega X. It is also a good performance if you have to compare it to the Cobra. Uh, as the Cobra runs on uh, 80 millimeter per second uh, printing speed on a, on a on an average basis. So it still means like a 20% increase. Uh, yeah. Yeah, which is also not, which also a reasonable performance, very good performance. Yeah. Um, and the, I think those, the, those one you mentioned like that we, our labs made some tests. Uh, yeah, the, the result will be uh, lensed uh, later. Yeah. Yes, we, we actually done some um, tests in our Anycubic lab yeah. and our R&D uh, colleagues them that are tested. Yeah. So I just, I just, I just want to mention that we made the test on using several printers, several hour printers. Uh, so compared to Cobra, yeah. uh, the same model, print the same model with a Cobra with several other of our printers, and also competitive products, yeah. um, competitive printers. And it turns out that on average, the Cobra Plus uh, is twenty eight percent faster, like on on average, if you make the average of all the printers. Yeah. The Cobra Plus is 28% uh, faster than all the others on average. 
Um, also, we, we also mentioned that you got a sensor. Uh, you got a, yeah, you got a Renault detection sensor here, which is not present on the on the co on Cobra. Uh, Dawson introduce uh, introduced this already, so I'm not gonna say too much about this. Yeah. Just some people may be asking why we didn't uh, include this on Cobra. Actually, because the Cobra size is a bit is a bit smaller. So actually, the probability that you run out of filament or you're, you're printing a, a print that is far too big and you're, you're going to run out of filament is pretty low on the Cobra. So yep. that's why we didn't, we didn't implement it on this one. And also the Cobra was aimed to be an entry level, an entry, entry level printer. So there are some, there are some adjustments that you have to make. There are some choices that you have to make in terms of uh, production cost and, uh, so you cannot increase, you cannot include every of the cool parts and expect it to be at the entry level prices. So that's some kind of the of the choices we made on this yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, all right. One so, word with the Cobra Max. I think yeah. Cobra Max needs this space here. Yeah, we we, we need some uh, space in here. Like uh, when we're, I would like to talk about between the Cobra and plus and the Cobra uh, Max is that um, we can say that. They uh, have almost the same specifications or uh, the technology applied in these two models, but except for the size that we were talking about before. Uh, although the Cobra Plus has uh, smaller dimensions um, than the Cobra Plus, this is a printer that you should really consider uh, giving your configurations. Which one should you pick, the whether the Cobra Plus or the Cobra Max, because it is applied for different uh, sizes. And the Cobra indeed has a much larger uh printer dimensions compared to other uh uh competitive printers but sometimes you don't necessarily need that larger space because you uh, except you you have to print some uh, larger print, uh creations uh once a week or, or or several times per week and also the print the price is something that we really that our users and uh when, when we give you this suggestion you, you you should really consider it seriously uh but but one thing that I would like to uh, have a um, point out is that, uh, especially the price of the uh, Crow Plus, is that um, in June 15th, this month, June 15th, that our live stream will, will give you the price for the Crow Plus, which is really a fantastic price. And Matthew can show that. All right. Is that uh, in June 15th, that we will, the early bird price, for Cobra Plus is three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. You guys are the first one to see this. You yeah, you never communicate before. Just remember that for this price, for the early bird price, we will only uh, giving uh, we will only sell it uh, in a really giving limited uh, units, with it, which is two thousand units. Yes, in June fifteenth. Um, Just remember it. Yeah, the uh, yeah. Actually, the giveaway away will show later. Uh, and later. so the, the, the price will in, in June 15th, remember it, will be only sold in $399 with a limited units in 2,000 pieces. Yep. Yeah. So uh, actually, it's a really fantastic FDM printer that is lower, we say much high, uh, much faster speed and the advanced technology mm -hmm. of the le auto leveling uh, technology applied in these models. Yep. And a Larger uh, printing uh, dimensions, and if this actually sell, uh, so being sold on uh, about, uh, uh, it's actually sold less than four hundred dollars. So I think it's quite astonishing. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It <laughs> yeah, is. Sure. Uh, I want to take a few moments to reply to uh, Mr. Dubois that has two questions. There was Gillian Knights also. Uh, as we are still talking about the printer for a couple of more minutes, uh, is there a drawer uh, for tools uh, on this on the Cobra on the Cobra Plus? Yes, it is. And the second the second question of Mr. Dubois. Let me try to get it back here. Uh, we're not gonna offer any rebates for today. Today is just uh, is just to pump you to pump make a, make, make you guys pumped up for the next live streams. Uh, actually, this price is going to be available on uh, on the fifteenth, on June fifteenth, yeah. like Dawson just mentioned. So you guys really want to you guys really want to follow uh, this live stream and really want to stay stay tuned. 
Um, so you can, uh, as I just mentioned, you can buy the printer on June 15th on our official website. Uh, remember that just uh, Dr. just there's only a 2000 limit um, yeah. printers. So printers gonna, uh, we guess that printers gonna, gonna, gonna sell kind of good on, on that day. So you really want to get, uh, yeah, to get here early. Sure. Yep. Uh, so yeah, just uh, off, we have a link also in the I think it's in the description on TikTok. It's called the Bo. I guess I'm, I'm so professional about this. Yeah. So hit up the link. You're gonna bounce back to our Cobra Plus uh, web page. Uh, enter your email, subscribe, and you're gonna receive all the information and you're gonna have notifications also uh, when the session gonna start. When the early bird price session gonna start. Yeah. So you really want to, you really don't want to miss this. So just subscribe. Just it subscribe and redirect to our landing page. And there's one one um there's there's several information will be introduced that is that uh, our early our uh, early bird price will will be um three hundred ninety nine dollars and the time would be on June fifteenth on ten a.m. uh of the New York time. So in our, just follow our official website and subscribe the email and all the information will be redirect to the landing page and you just stay tuned for that. All right. So that is the point that I would like to mention there again. Yeah. All 399 right. US dollars. Oh, there's a, yeah. uh, oh, there's Mr. Dubois asking which link, I think we didn't include the link into the description. I'm gonna ask Rebecca to do it. Yeah. Uh, the link gonna be the following, uh, just wait a couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, Travis will, will, will show you the link later. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Nate. All right. Uh, we still have a bit of time going, so don't worry. You can you can subscribe. At the yeah. time. We have um, a lot of time to add the link. All right. So what did we prepare last? Oh yeah, there was there was some. Uh, we're gonna talk about some PLA. Yeah. PLA. That's the second session, and we will use like 20, 20 minutes, something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. You got, you're gonna be much faster than this. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Last last session before the giveaway. Stay yeah, stay here, guys. Stay tuned for that. Uh, so this is the new PLA developed by Annie Chibik. Uh, so you can see they are they are quite different. Uh, oh, uh, just, yeah, just showing that. Uh, you can see here it's gonna be better. Cool. All right. Yeah. Let's show the models here. Yeah. yeah. Let me put the models up front. All right. So this is the brand new filaments. Uh, we just managed to get those three rows, but there's a lot of colors. Uh, they are divided into two categories, actually. They are the silky uh, PLA here, and this is the matte PLA there. So you guys begin to see a bit of difference. This one is much more glowy. This one is, uh, as, as the name is called, matte. Uh, both, good, uh, both good results with the prints. Uh, I'm going to try a bit uh, later to show you the prints, actually. Yeah. Uh, Dawson gonna be in charge of introducing the silky PLA one. Yeah. So Please. the silky PLA, I would like to yeah, bring this yeah. one. Exactly. Before, like just showing the models oh, that we bring. Want oh, me to show them? Print. Yeah. All right. So uh, I will just you know, Matthew will help help me to showing the the creation that we print that. You can see the sword is really fantastic yeah. and really astonishing. Uh, the glow, the glow is cool. this sword. We feel like we are in How the powerful. Yeah, powerful. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. the winter is coming. <laughs> Just kidding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Suki PLA is most name. It is so it is uh, uh, it's a Suki touch and the same feeling when the print is finished. Uh, it's also a really nice shining girl as we as Matthew just showing that before. It's shining girl and it is really um have a and we also have a lot of different uh, colors, the slaver, the melty blow. Uh, the mental blow and the rainbow, and we we and when we we, uh, we actually dumped that many uh, the models uh, prints in our um, labs, so that is feels like quite uh, astonishing. And this PLA filament also have a very nice specification. Um, one the, the first one is the long lasting um, silky shine, and the second one is the low shrinkage, and with a high resilience for three years guarantee. Yeah. That it, this kind of period, uh, so made all on it, and all the ma ma raw materials are all made of uh, by nature, Natural. coral yeah. and green. So it is really environmental friendly uh, and biodegradable. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 
or Chavis skip us. Yeah. Uh, no worry. Oh, we, we introduced this already. Yeah, we have introduced the executor before. Yeah, yeah sure. we have, we have. So um, Matthew will introduce the Matt PLA. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry. Okay, so uh, we will we will we were talking about the executor later after we finish the PLA session. So uh, give me an English version. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be easier. Yeah. Uh, Chinese version. You wanna tackle this or? Uh, we, we, we can we can talk it later. Yeah, uh, of course. No worry for that. So Matt, Matt PLA first. Matt PLA first. Uh, all right. So of course the as the name states it, uh, the Matt PLA is Matt. So you don't is Matt. Sorry. Matt. Yeah. Matt. So you don't have you're not gonna have the same shiny glow as the other one, but also have a good, but it compensates with very very shiny details, very sharp details on the end. Um, actually, uh, I think. Uh, you want to hold it? Yeah, I want, this one. I want this one. The head one? Yeah, the head one. I don't know if. Let can... me show. Yeah, it's show to the. Careful with the mic. Yeah, so actually, it makes all the all the details very, 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 very precise. Much more precise than the than the PA, than the silky PLA, as you as you can see. The result, of course, is less shiny, but very, very good looking also. Uh, also, it has the same good characteristics as uh, Dawson mentioned about the silky PLA. So uh, strong toughness, uh, low shrinkage, which means like when you have a, a three years period without any cracks, uh, without any shrinkage. So which is pretty good. You can, you can maintain your every, every uh, print. Um, you can make sure that they, they look good, they look perfect like for a duration of three years. And also they are made from the same material. So natural corn, natural grains. Uh, totally environment friendly, totally biodegradable, and also like no harm at all for your health. So you can use it like really, really freely. Uh, for the mat, there's no, uh, for, the mat, for the mat, there's several colors also. So yep. there's, uh, for the mat, there are the, yeah, the golden one, the bl uh, there's black the one, that we yeah. didn't, didn't get it here, the white one, and both results are very, 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 very nice. Yes. Uh, just one word, uh, the link is on, on, uh, on YouTube now, so you guys can, um, you guys can connect to this link. Sure. All right. Any questions? Thanks, Travis. Thanks, Travis. Yeah. Travis was good enough. Uh, fast, fast hand. Um, all right. So what about we tackle the giveaway session? Yeah. We can uh, just go. Yeah. Yeah. So giveaway the people. What the people are, are waiting for every live stream is happening now. Thank you for, for waiting passionately. Yeah, oh, passionately. wait, uh, Matthew, before we start the giving away, I'd like to point out like uh, many of our uh, users been asking like, well, I'd like to point out, uh, explain more specifically about the Borden, uh, Severin Borden drives and the direct drives. Oh, please, yeah. please. And let me introduce the two uh, the two uh, pros uh, the, the, the two uh, advantage of these two technologies of these two drives for the uh, separate volume drives the, uh, the, the 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 pros are it is really fast and it's easy to use and easy to maintain and the third one is really a, in a low price that we we can apply for it and for the direct drives uh, there are there are four um, advantages for two and two advantages the first one is uh, really accurate which which uh, the, the accuracy is really high and uh, it is really uh, with a low um, extent race uh, in the direct drive. And the third one is really to change. It's easy and really easy to change the filament when we when we using this kind of um, the, the the direct drive. There's no um, two tubes between uh, this kind of uh, in for we are using the direct drives. And the fourth one is that we are uh, we uh, uh, the 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 executor. Uh, the uh, requirements is really low, so we can we don't have to uh, price a lot of to using the Feldman to using the drive to use it. So it is actually uh, low requirements for the executor. So there are the, so based on your uh, our users and our family members uh, requirements, uh, the two uh, Borden drive uh, the two drives uh, you apply for different technologies can give you uh, different um, uh, demise. So these two drives are also uh, really uh, fantastic for different purposes. Yeah. 
All right. So we can start the giveaway. Thanks session. a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot for this one, man. Uh, so as I was about to say, this is the moment that all the people are waiting for every, uh, every, in every time in our lives. Uh, so we're gonna have obviously one amazing prize for you guys to win. Not this one, obviously, but the co one, one Cobra Plus here. Um, one Cobra Plus, we're gonna have also 10 spools uh, of the newest PLA and you will be able to choose for the color. Um, yeah, so actually how to participate and this is the time we can reveal yeah. this wonderful board that I made, that we made, sorry. So on this board, uh, let, let, let the price still. Yeah, the price. So on this board, you can see a hashtag. And it's time for you to use this hashtag to comment in the yeah. comment section. So uh, we also strongly recommend, and that's one, one, more, one more time, we strongly recommend uh, you to subscribe to our, to our Cobra Plus webpage. Uh, so the link, I put the link just now in the, in the TikTok also. The link Travis put in, uh, in YouTube is there also. Um, so you use this link, you just subscribe, uh, use your email to subscribe yeah. and you got the whole information and you're going to be connected to our, uh, yeah, you're going to, you're going to be, um, linked, uh, you're going to be notif notified when the session going to be beginning. So giveaway begin now, comment the comment in the, comment the hashtag yeah. in the comment hashtag section. any cubic Cobra plus. plus. Three, two, one, begin. You guys Three, already begin. Two, one, begin. begin. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys, hit that comment button, man. Go ahead. All right, so uh, you guys participate. Thanks, thanks a lot. Novice artisan, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh can, thank you. Can, you. Thanks for staying, for staying that long. Uh, does it have Bluetooth? I answer your, your question uh, first. Yep. Does it have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi wi connectivity? connectivity? I don't think it has, but it's also a good good thing that it pointed out and for the next printers we made we we're going to try to make sure that it can be uh all right so dm oh sorry are you, you guys are commenting i cannot scroll to the question uh dm dm 3d was asking like uh, what is that the link the link just uh, just behind your just a bit under your comment man so now we're going to start uh, the q a session just in order to make sure that you guys have enough time to participate to the giveaway. Yeah. Uh, we're going to stay as long as, as you guys want. Actually, it's no, there's no big requirements on yeah. our side. So ask questions, guys. And um, feel free to point out if yeah. you have any questions. Yeah. If you have questions, if you have comments on our, uh, uh, on our performance, do not hesitate. We're going to stay there. So of course they, today they're gonna have only one winner. Uh, For the Cobra Plus, unfortunately, or yeah. but it's also it's also a good thing. You guys can have the you can have the opportunity to uh, to to still connect to the early bird price. And I think that's a that's a cool time to mention about the the giveaway. No, not the giveaway. The the early bird price. Still. The early bird price. Yeah. yeah, I would like to mention then again. Just like we showing the the board here, yep. like the, for the early bird price in um, uh, the date is on June fifteenth. Yep. And the time is ten a.m. New York time. Yeah. And the price would be in for the early bird price would be um three hundred and ninety nine dollars instead of yeah instead, instead of, of four hundred ninety nine and ninety nine yeah which so, is one hundred dollars saved yeah for the early bird price exactly. but remember. We only have 2,000 limited unions exactly. for the early bird price. Yeah, just re just just follow our um, official website and subscribe the email and just landing our page. And on June 15th, remember to saw to see our uh, live stream. And and after uh, uh, a half hour of the live stream, uh, when we started after a half hour later, when we start the live stream on June 15th. The early bird price for the the, the pre-sale would be started. Yeah. Yep. So the, the uh, just uh, 
Yeah, so just, just to mention that you're gonna have a very good printer like we introduced before. Many, many new settings, many, many, many new specification. Speed increase, dimension increase. Um, what else? The runout sensor that has been implemented. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is a this is a very good printer for a price that is more tending to have uh, entry level printer price. So you guys really want to really want to have this uh, to buy at this price actually. Sure. So this is a very good opportunity. There's only two thousand left. Two thousand units available. Yeah, two thousand units. Yeah. Okay. And uh, people may uh, may ask, is it uh, only for the US or even for the Europe? It's on all platforms, the US and Europe also. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, 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 oh, Sebastian this points one. out like you speak about speed. I want to ask Tom heating bed from room temperature to 100. 100? Uh, this depends on your on your room, I mean. Uh, yeah. If your room is, uh, it depends the temperature in your room. Like if, if like here you're using air conditioning, gonna take much time that if you are in a small room without air conditioning. Yeah. So this one is uh, is also hard to answer, but it's not it's not that that kind of speed we are we are talking about. Yeah. Is um, is 100 millimeter the the printing speed actually is not the the, the temperature heating, the, yeah, the heating, heating yeah. speed. All right, next question, guys. Oh, there's a there's a comment from uh, Newf Dogs on uh, on YouTube. I love how you guys are improving the quality of the machine. Uh, thanks a lot, my man. We are trying our best, and uh, every feedback that you give us on whether the printer is good or bad, or if you have some yeah. problem, or if you're very satisfied with this stuff, everything we saw, everything we see, everything, and everything is reported to our product department. And uh, we make sure to give you the best at uh, the better price, yeah. at the best price available. Yeah. And also, I wanted to point out, like, uh, just like uh, I introduced myself before, I'm I'm actually uh, from the uh, marketing analyzing department. That uh, we would like to hear more advice or suggestions or any improvement uh, suggestions advice from our users that we can uh, help our users to better define and better improve our uh, products. And we will, and I, me and Matthew will um, bring all these kind of device, uh, uh, bring all these suggestions and the advice, whether it's good or whether it's, we have anything that we can improve or whether uh, we have any selling points that we can point out for our uh, device, uh, for our machines that we will de uh, uh, deliver to our R&D departments to better define our products. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you can eat make toast. Uh, novice artisan, you, you're kind of funny guy. Uh, last time we, we uh, I, I recall I made a live stream, uh, kind of funny live stream yeah. uh, for one of the platform where we tried to make fried eggs on the out of the Viper uh, hotbed. Actually, it, it, it takes a bit of time, but uh, very successful. Yeah, it's successful. Successful. That's Any comments it. from here? Oh yeah, there's a there's a good there's a good remind reminder. Although I mentioned uh, I mentioned already, but I'm gonna say it uh, one more time. Uh, it's all it's not only for US. Actually, you're gonna have the the early bird price is available also in Europe. Yeah, sure. Uh, in Great Britain, uh, yeah, Europe, US, Great Britain, all those those um, areas uh, are available. At the same time. It's not the same price. It's not the same price. Actually, like if you want a split of the price, I can tell you for Europe. So Europe, the price is gonna be three hundred ninety nine euro instead of four hundred ninety nine euro. So you you still have the one hundred uh, euro, euro uh, discount. Discount, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why is it? Uh, many people are asking us why is it um, always a bit expensive, a bit more expensive to buy your printer when they are in Europe than when you are in the uh, in US is because the whole the whole cost system is different so like to import the printers in uh, in US is yeah. much uh, less complicated and much less costly than Europe so we have to adapt also those those prices but we still we still don't fool you we still give you the 100 uh, discount on this one sure so whether you are in US whether you are in Europe in Great Britain you really want to have that price uh, you really want to buy at that price. Uh, 
I'll say one more. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty nice, it's a very nice printer. Very good specifications yeah. with a very low price. So you guys really don't want to miss this. Uh, all right. Yes. I would like to bring up the, the, the highlight of the, the products as the end of our, maybe perhaps the end of our live stream is that um, we, we apply the LibreQ uh, auto leveling technology to help you saving your, uh, your time or your energy when you're trying to uh, level the hardware. So this is the first point. And the second point is that the speed. It's like uh, we, 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 we kind of like just um, um, improve many the small points to, to, to bring the speed can be faster. And the third point is the interface, which is the interface can be like really convenient and really easy to use this kind of when you apply, when you have the interface with the machine. And yeah, so, and the fourth point um, would be the many technology are, are, are actually like the price and the, 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 the dimensions, these kind of things is actually uh, that we have this kind of um, improvement or this kind of um, advantages or this kind of, um, highlights for this, this product, yeah. All right, thanks for this uh, mention. Uh, I got one question here for, from, I lost the question. Uh, shoo, 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 I lost the question. Oh, when are the new colors going to be available? Actually going to be available the, uh, the, on the same time than yeah. the Color Plus. So you can buy, you can, you can buy on the- June, On June 15th. Yeah, on the yeah. same day also. Yeah, one of the important now is like we will release the um, the, the new colors, need the new filaments on June fifteenth, uh, ten a.m. New York time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's the we always talking about the about June fifteenth. They're gonna be two times uh, that, that you have to remember. The actually the early bird price start at ten a.m. Uh, New York, New York time. time. But you're gonna have the the live stream that begin a bit earlier, like half an hour earlier, nine thirty. Uh, AM New York time. Yeah. So those are gonna be here along with Spring. Yeah, there's a lot of people knowing Spring already, and they're gonna entertain you for for half an hour be, and get you pumped up, all pumped up, all ready to buy. And uh, and uh, yeah, after the after half an hour of the beginning of the live, we we'll start a pre-sale. Yeah. yeah the, the sale is gonna begin. The early bird price is gonna be available. But don't feel sad, like Matthew wouldn't sit uh, in front of the screen. Yeah, like Matthew I'm, I'm gonna be here also. I'm gonna be here. here <laughs> like bed of the screen, like in this room, in our live stream room. Yeah. All, all the whole team gonna all the whole team gonna be there. Travis, Rebecca, yeah, and I gonna be behind the screen. Yeah. And uh, Dawson and Spring gonna be uh, gonna be your uh, anchors in in, 15, in June fifteenth. Yeah. All right. Any any other questions? Any other questions? I, we, we, we stay, today we stay a lot, a lot longer than, than, yeah, uh, than sure. time before. Will we stay alone like we, one hour and a half, something like that? Uh, yeah, one Almost hour, one hour, hour, and, hour and 20. Yeah, 20, yeah. And questions from? Yeah, we, got, side, we yeah. got some feedbacks also. Yeah. Uh, do we announce the winner now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, which winner, actually? Yeah. Here is the winner, and you have to take this one here. Oh, all right. Here, all right. All right. So, uh, something new also for this uh, for this time. Usually, we uh, we announce the winner after this, after the live, and uh, time for all the comments to be to be uh, charged uh, into our back station. One machine. Only one machine. Oh, yeah, only one machine. Yeah, I don't know this one. Don't worry. Uh, all right. So, so yeah, as I, as I was as I was saying, uh, the la the latest lives uh, lives we end. We're waiting for the live to end, and then we announce the um, the winner after that. This one will get uh, more and more professional, like both on the design, the performance, and also the technology. So the first winner uh, is from Facebook. The winner who uh, wins the amazing Cobra Plus. Cobra Plus from Facebook, Anthony B. Bix B. I think it's French also. Anthony. Anthony B. 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 Yeah. B U I X. All right. 
And uh, the people who win the filament now, there's, we we put we drew one guy from uh, YouTube, so he's uh, this this name is hard to read. Michael Michael Tui, T H E U Y. Uh, all right, so the man, you guys, you guys, you although you didn't win the the printer, but you won uh, some rows of yeah. uh, filament. Yeah, filament yeah. So do not hesitate to contact us. Both have to contact us actually uh, on your platforms. And uh, tell us which color you want. Tell us the address. And uh, yeah. And the last, and the last one gonna be from TikTok. TikTok. And it's gonna be King Say Forge. King Say Forge. You guys, sorry you didn't win the printer, but you win some amazing filaments also. Yeah. So do not hesitate to tell us whether you want some matte one, some silky one. Or there's a mix of the two, and um, yeah, and the color also doesn't have to be precise. So I told uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce the winner once more. So the printer, the printer is won by any Anthony B from Facebook. Filaments are won on YouTube by Michael Chewy, and on TikTok, filaments is won by King Se Forge. So congratulations, guys! Congrats, guys! Sorry for all, all the people that was that were there and uh, which we cannot give prizes to, but uh, do not take offense. We we, we cannot give uh, gift to all, all of the people. Thanks a lot for being here. Um, yeah, really, really thanks. Thank you a lot for being here. Yeah, but uh, if for those those are the uh, all, uh, for those the audience who haven't won our um, Printers are over filaments. You can still have the chance to um, be join our live stream on June fifteenth, TM New York time, to get the early bird price to 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 trying to um to to buy the our Cobra Plus this amazing uh, products for the early bird price for three hundred and ninety nine uh, US dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, one few questions. Uh, there's a there's a printer. Printed gamer who asked us where we can get those cool Cobra T-shirt. Uh, this Cobra T-shirt actually was designed for us to do the lives yeah. on the Cobra only. I don't know if they plan to uh, to sell it to sell online, all. but uh, that can be an idea also. Yeah, we we're gonna submit this idea. And uh, is it cool, right? Yeah, yeah, we we think it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, if if it's available, it's gonna be available on the on the on our official website. Yeah, sure. Uh, this this we're gonna we're gonna work on this one uh all right i think we can get um yeah there's uh no there's no question anymore all right let's stand, stand up, up. Let's stand up. all right guys it's really dope yeah it is it is, it is. so actually guys the lab gonna gonna end up here uh yeah. thanks a lot for following us um yeah and the, the most important don't forget to subscribe uh, Our official website yeah, on the on the Cobra web page. The link is in the description or in the comment section. You hit that link. You enter your email address, and you're gonna receive notifications. And you're gonna receive notification also on when the early bird price gonna begin. So you really want to get this. Uh, you want you really want to get the printer at this price. So this live is over. The most important live is on the June 15. So follow us. Follow us. Uh, follow us. Follow on. Follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. uh, TikTok, also, and most importantly, follow us on the fifteenth, nine thirty in the morning, beginning of the live, yeah. 10, uh, 10 a.m. beginning of the early bird price. Yeah. You really want to. You want to. You really want to be there. Yeah. All right. The lives end up here, and we're gonna back to work. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.